Hello everyone, my name is Katie and I'd like to walk you through the process of requesting your new Moodle site. The first thing you'll need to do is log in to the university intranet. Once you've logged in, scroll down to the box here labeled UOW Platform and click on Manage My Moodle. Now click Request a Moodle Site. A new tab will open which will guide you through the steps of this process. First, you will need to indicate that you are requesting your site for a subject. Next, indicate whether you will need a single subject site or a multiple subject site. You'll only need to select multiple subject site if you are teaching a subject where separate subject codes will use the same e-learning space. I'll walk you through the single subject site first and then the multiple subject site process in just a moment. Now, select which students you will need to enroll in this site. This will likely be 2013. Enter the subject code here and make sure that if your code only has three letters that there is a space between the letters and the numbers, such as SOC 103. Check the boxes for all the instances that you would like to have access to your Moodle site and then click Next. For multiple subject sites, you will need to add each subject code separately. Please make sure you tick the box and then click Add Subject for each subject that you would like included in your e-learning site. This page asks you for some additional information. First, you can select the dates that you would like your site available to students. Then, under Online Participation, indicate what you will be using your site for. Under Site Version, indicate the main location your site will be used at. This will usually be Wollongong. Support Access allows staff from the Learning Design Unit, such as myself, to enroll in your site in case we need to adjust any settings. The Resource Migration option is for subjects which will need assistance moving complex content, such as videos and other rich resources, into Equella. This will only be an option for a few people, so it's not necessary for most of you to worry about it. If you have quizzes, please select here how they will be migrated. The Learning Design Unit recommends that you migrate the question bank only. If you are unsure about any of these options, please click on the highlighted text to get more information. Once you've completed all the fields, click Next. This page allows you to add users to your site. First, add the site coordinator. This will usually be you. Enter your username and make sure to fill in all the necessary fields. Then click Add User. Repeat this process to add any other lecturers or sessional staff, such as tutors or demonstrators, to the site. Then click Next. Congratulations! You've made it to the end. Review your information here and click Submit. We also strongly recommend that you print this page for your records. You'll receive an email confirming your request for a site and the learning design team will be in contact with you to help you develop it. Please contact us at the information listed on your screen if you need any assistance. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon in our next video.